demonstrate the use of the Pinard stethoscope and the fetal Doppler, which is a um, useful skill to have when you're looking after pregnant women antenatally or potentially intrapartum as well. So the Pinard stethoscope allows you to hear directly the fetal sounds transduced through the maternal abdomen. The fetal Doppler uses ultrasound technology to pick up the sounds of the fetal heart. To essentially use these, you need to first examine the woman. So when you're examining the woman, you need to try and identify where the fetal back is and try and identify one of the anterior shoulders. So we're going to have a feel of your belly. So we're identifying is there a particular ridge on one side of the abdomen that would be consistent with the fetal shoulder. And from the palpation, it's likely going to be generally in this location or this location. For her, um, at the moment, the fetal back is probably a bit more posterior, so we're going to have a, a check with the stethoscope. Pinard stethoscope, you apply it over the shoulder, and then you have a listen. And you're generally not making any other contact with the stethoscope apart from your ear. The other device we use is the Doppler. And you put some of the coupling gel on and you apply it over the same area. It has an on and off button and some transducers devices will have a display. Some devices also have a volume setting control. So we can see the display there. So the fetal heart rate's normally between 110 and 160. Out of interest, we'll just have a listen on the other side. So that's a bit more of a click clacky sound, which suggests that that's more likely closer to the fetal heart. 